A new study says that pulling out of the Paris Accord will have a devastating impact on the future of the California landscape. And it says those changes will make fire season even worse across the state. Reporter Lisa Meadows has more on the study. Devastation plagued California last year as the worst wildfire season on record ravaged the state. 9,000 wildland fires in 2017 burning over 1.5 million acres. Scenes like this could be even more widespread in the future, according to new research out of UC Davis. The climate changes, and in terms of plants, it, it's mostly a drying out that we're going to see. Dr. James Thorne studied the effects of climate stress on vegetation across the Golden State and the potential danger climate change could have going forward. The Central Valley, the Sierra Nevada, and the uh, LA San Diego regions all have very high level of climate risk. Of special concern is the area between the foothills and the Sierra, which has already suffered tremendous tree loss due to the drought. Firefighters say they are already seeing the effect year round. You know, we're always talking about wildfire season. There is really no season in that phrase anymore. And California's current emission standards won't slow this troubling trend. We found that under our current level of emissions from cars and whatever, by the end of century, 50% of the entire landscape is at high climate risk. Dr. Thorne says by simply meeting the Paris Accord standards, the dangers to California's environment can be cut. Then there's considerable savings and we still have a lot of lands that are at risk, but it's between 20 and 30 percent. Researchers hope politicians will use this data to make decisions that will prevent devastating changes to our landscape in the decades to come. That was Lisa Meadows reporting. Now, the study was funded by the Department of Fish and Wildlife with hopes it will help the state better manage resources in the future.